welcome back. Not only the NBA, but welcome back to the five and five video. Hey, if you joined us yesterday, we took a small little departure and got you ready for baseball because we're going to transition to that once the NBA is done. And we went four for four. Now we had a void. So we went four for four and we smashed. So we're off to a four and oh start in the young major league baseball season. It's got to be good, man. The vibes, the momentum. Let's keep it rolling. We got a battle tonight. Old time knockdown drag out between the Boston Celtics and Philadelphia 76ers. But we've got four other things to hit, too. So you're going to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm going to hit the clock and we're going to roll five bets in five minutes. Now we start with the Miami Heat. I told you so long as we have a total that's south of 221, we are going over. And the Miami Heat, whoa, 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 come on, slow down. Look at what they've done last couple of games. It's been rough at Toronto, at New York. They break out against Dallas, but everybody breaks out against Dallas. Slow down. When they've beaten over the last chunk of games, when they're taking on worse teams, they're scoring points. When they're beating up bad teams or just playing bad teams, that's the big thing is – they're moving forward now and putting up a lot of points, allowing points too, but that comes in the nature of the pacing. Even like, you know, Memphis, but then you look at Chicago, Detroit, they just did this. Took on Detroit at Detroit. We'll be okay here. There's going to be some points scored and I want to be a part of it. We move on. Way too big of a spread here. I know Charlotte got worked last time that we talked about them, but Toronto is a team that is still desperate, is still tight, but I don't necessarily know what's been figured out on the road. So I get it that this is going to be still must-win scenario for a team in Toronto who has clinched a spot at the very least in the playoffs. But play in, pardon me, play in, play in. But they still haven't figured anything out. They're awful on the road. They're the worst road team of the four current play-in type scenario squads that are around. And while Orlando still has some life, it's pretty much set right now. So Toronto is not a good road team. And I don't think that they've proven anything that you're oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of confidence in this Raptors team since they've clinched a play-in spot. Charlotte is nobody, and we know how this thing works where they just are playing for jobs and playing for minutes, and you have guys that are going to be trying much harder with nothing to lose versus guys with everything to lose in the tight Raptors squad. Absolutely, we keep it moving. More sides, more sides. I want a part of Brooklyn. Let's go. The Brooklyn Nets right now have defied a lot of the odds and a lot of what be the narrative and a lot of the other shit that have been piled up on their shoulders since the departure of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Wow, look at this team. Not only have they won three straight, but they've started to, started to settle after a rough stretch. Now, here come the Minnesota fighting Orfield Linquis, and I'm supposed to be scared of another team that is marginally okay on the road, but overall, in a spot like Toronto. These are teams I want to target. Brooklyn isn't tight anymore. Like, there was this theory, oh, Brooklyn's way too tight. They, they got nobody left, and they're trying to make up for stuff. Not anymore. Lock up the Brooklyn Nets minus one. This is a double-digit victory tonight. We keep it moving. We keep it moving. Let's go a little later in the day before we get to our marquee matchup. It's not going to be Portland. Everybody knows that po everybody has Portland on their radar right now, right? Like, you're not going to step in. The Blazers are getting 17 and a half at Memphis. We're not taking that because they're not going to do it again. Memphis is going to make sure that they're not going to be embarrassed like they were the last time. Doesn't mean that they can't cover a 17 and a half point spread, but I think a lot of people are focused now on the Blazers thinking, well, you know, they covered that spread the last time. Here's what you should look at. Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns right now are cooking. Phoenix Suns have won five straight. The Phoenix Suns are still fighting technically, but they're also locked in. Like, they're pretty entrenched right now in the fact that they're going to win this game, but they don't need to win by 19. They don't have anything at all that would remotely define their season 
real, like you better win this game and you better get style points or you better get confidence points or you better all of that, all of that. That's what I would do. Absolutely. Last one is the Celtics. We're going to take them to win the game. You want to talk about tight? That's been the theme here. It's been how tight can you be? And the Philadelphia 76ers right now have way too much that they're focused on. Even though, arguably, they are entrenched right now in their spot with, what, four or so to go. You've got Cleveland, all of a sudden, Cleveland behind them, two and a half behind them, and that's just going to put just enough pressure. Boston comes in here, and I think they can send a message to Philadelphia. Absolutely send a message to the Sixers. Come playoff time. We own you. There's your five and five. All right, not a bad parlay. By the way, that four and four yesterday hit in Major League Baseball. It was glorious. Why don't you take 60 seconds out of your life, New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia, Colorado, those four states. You have to be 21 or older, gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER, and then sign up. Sign up with that link below. Deposit $10, then bet a dollar on anything. It doesn't matter what you bet. Bet a dollar on anything. And you'll see $200 immediately back into your account. Not bad from Bet365, right? Pretty cool stuff from Bet365. Want you to join the Discord on your way out. We continue to cook. The entire site is on fire right now. So we want you to be a part of it. Parlays. We got parlays. We got same game parlays. Whatever you need. Live action. We got it all. You know. It's what we've been doing, man. We've been having a lot of fun with this stuff. So we want you to be a part of it. That's basically it. That's essentially what it comes down to. So whatever we're doing from parlays to same game parlays, it's it's going down. ES Insider is the code. You hear ES Insider is the code. And we will see you. I, I know, I know. I got to show you what the damn thing is again. Come on, come on. You told us you'd tell us the ticket. You told us, you told us. I know I did. I did. Here it is. Let's go back to DraftKings. Over 220 and a half for Miami, Detroit, Charlotte plus 14 and a half, Nets minus one, Spurs plus 18 and a half, Boston Celtics plus 110. There you have it. Five bets in five minutes, NBA edition.